What's up everybody, Danny's here, back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Now here's my full review of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, because so y'all know the Wave 5 came out. Yes, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 5 DLC came out already, and it's pretty much worth it somehow. It's pretty much worth it. So, Wave 5, I'm going to give my full review. So here's my full review on it. Let's so let's get started with the whip. Let me just give me a second. Okay, there we go. So let's get started off with the wiggler. Now, a thing about wigglers, they get angry if you stomp on them. But here's what I would think about wigglers. I think you need to know that wigglers can be freaking mad. Like, when, when someone hits you with a shell, banana peel, or an item, they just want to hit you. So when a wiggler gets hit, if you play as him, they can get mad and the whole body of the yellow color turns red, as I can tell. So I like playing as the Wiggler because it's kind of funny how you can see that the yellow turns red. Because there, there are angry Wigglers in the Mario games. And next up... Oh, oh, wait. And next up we got Petey Piranha. I know I really kind of like playing as Petey Piranha because it's like a boss of a piranha plant somehow. But I wish Nintendo would actually make more of a detail. But they made more of a detail than him anyway. So the Way 5 Mario Kart Deluxe DLC is definitely worth it. Um, it is like a, a flower plant as I can tell. <laughs> Anyways. And next we have um, Kamek. Which looks like a magic butt. But it's a wizard though. So I can tell. So the wizard is actually kind of like with the glasses on. And I believe this Kamek was featured in the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I actually kind of like the Super Mario Brothers movie, though, by the way. Even though Magic Koopas are featured in the Mario movie. Because you guys know the Way 5 DLC. Let's take a look at the tracks. Oh, wait, never mind. If you got to take a look at the tracks. Oh. So let's take a look at the tracks. Right, let's take a look at the tracks, y'all. Sorry, my controller is... um. Connected as a pro controller. So let's take a look at these. So now with the Athens Dash is kind of looking really cool. I love this map. Daisy Cruiser. Daisy Cruiser is definitely one of my favorites also. So um, Daisy Cruiser is my favorite. Moonview Highway. So the Moonview Highway. So Daisy Cruiser was one of my favorite maps in Mario Kart Double Dash. But Mario Kart Deluxe was definitely my favorite. I still prefer the Mario Kart Double Dash version. But um. Let me know your opinions about Daisy Cruiser. So Moonview Highway. Moonview Highway was easily like, I don't know, like, so Moonview Highway is like, um, let's see. It's like Toad's Turnpike. So that's what it looks a lot. It looks a lot like the map called Toad's Turnpike. Yeah. And we're here we have Squeaky Clean Spirit. Sprint. Squeaky Clean Sprint. Now, I remember this. This is a new um, map in Mario Kart Deluxe, but this is just for the DLC. I wish this was added in Mario Kart Tour, actually, but it's just for Mario Kart Deluxe. And next we have, from Mario Kart Tour, Los Angeles Laps. Now, this actually, I should get closer so I can tell you something. All right, here we go. So, Los Angeles Laps kind of looks a lot like, as you can see, the Ferris wheel, but I'm um, okay. Sunset Wilds is from a Game Boy Advance. And I'm not going to play Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance, but, but as you may know, the Sunset Wilds is actually one of my favorites. I kind of like Sunset Wilds. A Koopa Cave, uh, this is from the original Wii. I like playing Mario Kart Wii, but this Koopa Cave was definitely one of my favorites. So this was on the Wii version. And there, there's the blue shell. There it is, the blue shell. So the blue shell is like the one with the spikes, but this is the one without the spikes anyways. And here we have Vancouver Velo City. This is from Mario Kart Tour. And I believe Nintendo likes releasing some other um, maps that I'm featuring in Mario Kart Tour. Because y'all know, y'all know that Nintendo actually releases games like this. So anyways, the review is actually kind of worth, it's kind of good though. So the Mario Kart Deluxe Boy 5 DLC, I'm definitely rating it a 10 out of 10 so far was pretty much good though because i like playing as the wiggler because when you get hit the whole body of the wiggler turns angry 
like for a second I thought the flower was going to disappear, but when you play in Super Mario Maker 2, or even these other Mario games, the Wiggler's flower disappears. When you stomp on them, they get angry, as I can tell. I actually kind of like Wigglers, though. They're one of my favorites. But um, anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys do enjoy the video. And let me know what you guys think of the Mario Kart Deluxe Way 5 DLC. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I like all the new tracks. It's pretty fun, though. So, um, anyways, guys, if you guys do enjoy the video, if you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you all next time.